the impact of climate change, combined with growing intercontinental demographic disparity, widening economic and social inequality, and unresolved instability, is likely to lead to increased internal, regional, and international mobility as individuals seek to establish sustainable livelihoods for themselves and their families. While some countries in the world experience demographic expansion, others face sharp decline. It is easy to make sweeping generalizations. Migration dynamics are an aggregation of thousands of individual, context-specific decisions that are often poorly understood. Unraveling how macro developments affect micro movements and vice versa will be key to ensuring that policies can remain effective, supportive, and globally coherent. The world also is rapidly changing. Technology created new opportunities to connect populations as well as identify them more efficiently. Widespread, widespread access to social media is accelerating migration trends and expanding the networks through which migrants can seek support. Advancements in artificial intelligence and big data collection may offer new insight into predicting patterns and ensuring timely responses. Advances in digital identification may offer migrants and others new opportunities to access public services and manage their own mobility. But to ensure continued trust between governments and migrants, the management of data security and privacy will need to be carefully overseen. The use of new technology should not just be based on feasibility, but also on desirability. And IOM will need to be a trusted partner and advisor as the world innovates. innovates. Rapid urbanization continues to transform the demographic landscape of many countries around the world. Cities today are already home to the majority of international migrants driven by opportunity as well as necessity, and local authorities becoming leaders in finding creative solutions for rapid social change, supporting communities through innovation. But rapidly expanding cities are also fragile ecosystems. Governments and international agencies tasked with supporting large populations in small geographies must navigate access to resources, balance deep inequalities, and rethink the delivery of public services. All of these may be exacerbated when job growth does not keep pace with population growth, and environmental change threatens the livability of urban centers located in coastal regions. Labor markets, never static, will value a different set of skills in 2030 than they did in 2010. And at the same time, the terms of employment are becoming ever more flexible, in some cases precariously so. So to succeed, citizens across the world, including migrants, will have to become more adaptable, more resilient, and ready to take on several careers in their lifetime. And how to learn will become as important than what to learn, though some skills will remain in critically short supplies. The investments governments make today in their working age populations, including, and this is very important, migrant groups, will be determinative of their success in the future.